Unlikely heroes had discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Hi. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. <laughs> That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Awesome, yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? I seriously doubt that. We could jump him. Hey, you, what? There's two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's... It's genius. All right. Going on three. One. Two. Three. Go! <laughs> That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. Ah! What the hell was that? I don't know! Meteor shower! Get to the shelter! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. 
Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gornis, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You That's that didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you. So she had everything to do with this. Now listen up. Under normal <clears throat> circumstances, <clears throat> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop, yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had hey, to get come creative. Come on, come on, we'll, just everyone we'll find calm a rocket down, booster. okay? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's can make some progress. How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should and bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could use your help. Yeah, so of course you fault? could. I'm not the one Is that a yes to or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great, real I'd helpful. 
honestly yeah, don't reality. know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So the listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought, yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The Beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now! Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how! That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Abed we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. That'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies... But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. 
Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team. Um, prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. God, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So wait, when you fell off that balcony back there, that was Jack? <sighs> and here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but, uh, I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! I'm sorry, alright? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag, and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good, I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again... How can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. This might sound nuts, but I can control him. He doesn't have the power to hurt us, e even if he wanted to. If who wanted to what? All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. It's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? It's my two favorite gals. You come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Scooter! Great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on! <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can, I can shut mine? We're gonna fly up to Helios and leave a big flaming pile of skag crap right on their doorstep. Oh, heck yeah! What do you want to get the crap? Do you want to, like, just find some? Or do you want to, like, make some? Or do you want to get it off the black market? Because I know this wholesaler, trust me, I'm... We're not actually gonna do that. It's a metaphor. Yeah. 
that word. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could... Talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. Hi. Uh, I know we've never met, but I was with Athena when uh, she got taken. Yeah? Yeah. She talked about you a lot. Sure she did. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? It was a simple delivery job. Athena brought me a special package, a, a final gift from a dying friend. Here, let me show you. She got nabbed for delivering a box? She just got unlucky, I guess. Nobody was more surprised than me. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Heh. <laughs> That's my girl. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. But you've already done. Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, space buddies! <sighs> hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. Here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go.
All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. But you <laughs> are going to have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no... Face. Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Oh, uh, boy with the pepperonis. A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what? Not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. Yeah, screw Hyperion. I'm only going back because I need to get the beacon. Then I'm gone. I won't need them anymore once we've opened the vault. Hey, check you out. Now you're thinking like Handsome Jack. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a little freaky, actually. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Scanning... Scanning. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me, and I'm a frickin' hologram. Oof, disturbing. Be careful now. Vasquez's face end up disturbing, psycho but dinner. still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up because I'm about to compliment you. <laughs> Kinda looks like my ex girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Oh. 
Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Get me back to Helios. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off. Peeling off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth. With your mouth. Oh. That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God. That's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you... Hitting me right now. Oh, oh, pinch it off. Just pinch it off. Uh, seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smash the baby's face. Crunch its teeth. <laughs> Run. You're the only one running, pal. I can fly. So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save the face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. With chest bump. Oh! You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona should fit in on Helios, but you, Sasha? No way, man. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. 
Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have kept Jack a secret like that. It, it's kind of a weird thing to be dealing with. Not that that's an excuse. It's, it's just what happened. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. You look like absolute corporate scum. Huh, awesome. That's what I was going for. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. One thing. Hmm. I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... Big. That's Scooter for ya. I hope Vaughn's alright. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back.
You gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. I think I prefer this view. Yeah. Me too. It's a shame we have to go back. I wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. Eh, it doesn't matter how far we go. Trouble always seems to follow us. I know what you mean. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. Eh, we wing it. <laughs> of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? I ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa, need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip. We won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning. Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a person? Uh oh. Looks like someone else isn't feeling well. Henderson. Impact detected. Arm center rocket booster. No shit. Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it. We could really use your advice here. This ship requires additional thrust. Okay. Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Which is bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, cause that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to eleven. Still going? 
Nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. We're a star rocket simulator imminent. What does that mean? They are going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. Everyone stay calm. We got this. Ah, there's a girl I fell in love with. What? Huh? What? Huh? Ah, don't you worry your pretty little... Yeah, all of it, yeah, but yourself... But I'll be walking you through it, though. Cut this rocket loose. 
There's no time for anything else, you understand? Oh, stop, okay? There's gotta be some other way out of this. No, there ain't. Even if there was, there's no time. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now, don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about an old scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. I wish... I wish we had more time together. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! Alright. You gotta go. That was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. The worst part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. 
You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chilling in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? What's up, ladies? What you been doing? Talking about boys? Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Oh. Yeah, well... <laughs> Just getting around. And, boys. Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you are doing down on Pandora. Yeah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Right. And what's that thing you jettison say? Hero something? Yep. Looked like a doll satellite. You know what we do to doll crap up here. The same thing we're gonna do to your face when we find out what you are up to on Pandora. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. You want to know what I was doing on Pandora? Your mom. My mom is dead. Oh. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... Oh, my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets, and the first thing you do is dishonor the memory of my mom. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Bat, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Well, he had a... he had a little accident. He's in pieces! I know. Reese's pieces. It's terrible. His death, not the button. I'm not taking the blame for this. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. I'm sure we went over the particulars, but can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's so You're kidding valuable? me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward slipped your mind, too. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. 
Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. How many baggies would you like? Excuse me? Well, it's just that my colleagues tend to die badly. Henderson, Reese... I could go on. And if things were to go south, I'd like to know your preference. One big bag or a bunch of little ones? Maybe with the cute zip ties? They make them in a million colors. Never start what you can't finish. We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. All right, all right, you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting... It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jack Hack Attack coming at you, baby. Damn, we freaking rule. And that is not the royal we this time. Ah, security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the... the hub of heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. About our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. That doesn't look like a tour guide. Nope. There's a tour guide. 
standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap. Oh, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Oh, my outfit's ruined! Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You! Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know... Have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot? You'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordis. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it. What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm, pretty though. Ah, uh, nice masks. <laughs> oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh! Ah! Handsome Jack... Defeating... Um... Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? Cool! The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish I had a horse like that. If you feed it, 
The stallion will crap high velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Ah, Whoa. Okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um. Uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. I had to leave my chair for a throne. You catch my drift. Wait a minute. That wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Gordon, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just stop. Why? Oh boy, I, I I I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh, it ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh, uh I want the full handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Sure, go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're on Goodbye. your own, lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. Yeah, sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back. That's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of-
of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't reason, then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. You traitor. Oh, grow up. It's just an office. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. I made a mistake. The firefight got messy. I must have grabbed the wrong dead guy. You grabbed the wrong- They look the same when their face is a big puddle. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the- Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your- Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder, if you have been wounded by gunfire, please hang up and dial emergency medical services. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down? A stun rod? Oh, wait a second, that's the one... The one I gave... Therese. Shocking, I know. Get out of my office, Yvette. Unless you'd rather take the airlock. How dare you threaten me? Threaten? No, this is happening. Free lunch time is over. Fiona, you there? Maurice, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law it means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the friggin' battery on Yvette. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count. With a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Reese. What's going on? Are you are you talking to Jack? Hey, hey, pipe down for a second, please. Jack says he might have a way out of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Was he teaching you how to be a bigger dick? <laughs> I'll leave you to it. As I was saying, I'm here to hell. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and... Yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door, is it a, is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, 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 but, but am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan! You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. 
It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. No, no way. Forget it. This plan is insane. Coming up here in a rocket caravan with cheap muscle and a couple of con artists. That was freaking insane. I'm just trying to make sure we both survive this festering mess of yours. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. So, did Jack bestow any pearls of wisdom? Yeah, more or less. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. up this awful paint. I'm ready for prison life! That's official Hyperion property you just defaced! Is that? Wait, no! Let me look at- just give me one sec- No, that is mine! Hey! Hey, I'll, I'll split it with you! Maybe it wasn't what you thought it was. I know a treasure map when I see one. Oh, well, then you're probably right. Bummer. I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Reese, are you there? Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... With the... Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's going to take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Oh, my God. 
You're not allergic to lead. Screw this thing. Well, look, even if it was a treasure map, it's not gonna do you much good down here. <clears throat> hey, what's going on here with, with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? How much of a beating did you lay on these two? Huh? Clearly they're brain damaged. I mean, just like the regular amount. Hey, come on. Clearly not the way this one's babbling on. So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh, yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? Jack told me about a trapdoor that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting mulched by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. But now I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. 
Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Well, what can I say? I, I trust Jack. That hasn't ended well for a lot of people. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Why? Why? You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave me the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> Delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? So this means you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. I hope the beacon looks super cute. Definitely not! Oh this, this shotgun, it's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call, because you're gonna want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> Then you kill him. I wonder what I'll become. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. The U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. 
Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. And with that gorgeous. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It feels like I'm sitting in the chair of a supervillain. But you could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! How are you doing? Technically, we're still in jail. Gordis, come back over here. We could wield Hyperion's might together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there. And they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. I'd say there's no rush, but, uh, <laughs> tick, 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 Greasy. Hell no. You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. Yeah, sure, sure. Call me kiddo a billion times and laugh at your own jokes. I should have never brought you back. So annoying. Oh, I'm annoying? Am I annoying now? How about now? Am I annoying now? How about now? Am I annoying? <laughs> well, you haven't even seen me try to get under your skin yet, kiddo. I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. No, you really don't. Reese, the machine is off. Did 
to get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, you really shouldn't have told Fiona about it. All good. Let's Just get getting into position. position. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah! 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 